Discovery Series. Hello, friends. Welcome to this edition of I Love Music, the Apollo's Fire Discovery Series. My name is Amanda. And my name is Gabby. We're your hosts for the Discovery Series. We will be learning all about Apollo's Fire, the music they play, and about the wonderful people who play it. This music is special. It's from a very long time ago. Like 20 years ago? 50 years ago? No, Gabby. 400 years ago. Whoa! We'll learn all about it in today's episode. Before we jump into learning about music, we need you to get a few items. Could you get some paper, some crayons, and also a marker or a pencil? We are going to be doing some fun activities later and want you to be ready to go. Let's listen to some music while you go and get your supplies. If you don't have any paper and crayons, that's okay too. You can still participate in our activity. Ready? Ready? Go! go. Okay, you can put your supplies aside for later. Today we are learning about a very special orchestra named Apollo's Fire. Amanda, what's Apollo's Fire? And what's Baroque music? Hi there, Vienna. Hi, Kieran. Great questions. Vienna and Kieran are music students who are going to learn alongside us today. Baroque music is a type of music that was created and played during the Baroque period. The Baroque period is a time in history about 400 years ago when people created beautiful music, art, buildings, and stories that were all about expressing their emotions. There were many people involved in music during the Baroque period and today, like the composers, the people who wrote the music, and musicians, people who play the music. They used music to tell all kinds of stories. Happy stories, sad stories, and dramatic stories. During the Baroque period, groups of musicians got together to play music on their different instruments. That's what we call an orchestra. Is Apollo's Fire an orchestra? Yes, Apollo's Fire is a Baroque orchestra, actually. They play music that was written during the Baroque period of music. What makes it so special is that the musicians play instruments built just like the ones that people used to play 400 years ago. Musicians that play string instruments, woodwinds, brass, percussion and keyboards, and they're very similar to instruments you see in a modern orchestra. What does Apollo's fire mean? Well, in stories from ancient Greece, Apollo is the god of music and healing. Apollo used music to make people feel big emotions, happiness, silliness, sadness, and joy. Apollo's Fire Orchestra wants to spread happiness and healing to people through their music, just like a fire of music spreading. So the name Apollo's Fire is all about bringing joy and healing to people through music. Joy and healing through music. I love it! But who's in charge of the orchestra? Oh, that's Jeanette Sorrell. She is the founder and conductor of Apollo's Fire. Jeanette loved to play music when she was a little girl, and when she grew up, she decided to start her very own Baroque orchestra. The conductor has some very important jobs. One of them is to show the musicians the beat. Music has a beat, just like your heart has a beat. You can change the beat's tempo. Tempo is how fast or how slow the music is. As the conductor, Jeanette also gives expression of feeling to set the mood for the orchestra. Let's watch Jeanette conduct the orchestra. Jeanette 
just like Jeanette, we are going to be conductors today. First, we need to make sure you can keep the beat. In this activity, we can play follow the leader. I will do the beat first, and you follow me along with Gabby. Hi, Gabby. Let's go. Repeat after me. Ta, ta, ta. Repeat. Ta, ta, ta. My turn. Ta, ta, ta. Your turn. Ta, ta, ta. Let's move it to our laps. My turn. Your turn. My turn. Your turn. This time, let's clap. That was awesome. You did great keeping the beat. Now let's see if you can keep up when we change the speed of the beat or the tempo. Ready? Ta, ta, ta. Ta, ta, ta. Nice work, conductors. Yay! Gabby, what else can you tell us about Jeanette? Well, not only does Jeanette lead the musicians, but she also plays an instrument called a harpsichord. Let's listen to Jeanette play the harpsichord. It does, Kieran. The harpsichord was played during the Baroque period and was made before the piano was even invented. Sometimes Jeanette plays the harpsichord with the orchestra and also conducts them at the same time. Instead of using her hands to show the beat, she uses her head and facial expressions to show the musicians how she wants them to play. When Jeanette isn't playing the harpsichord, she conducts with a conducting baton from the front of the orchestra. Jeanette is showing the beat to the musicians so they can all play together. Conductors also give the musicians lots of ideas about how to express the music. She shows the musicians when to stretch out the sound and make beautiful, smooth music, or when to play fast and crisp. Remember when we asked you to get a pencil or marker? Well, go ahead and pick that up. And now you have a conductor's baton. Voila! Let's conduct with Jeanette. Just like our hands were keeping the beat, now we'll use a baton like this. Ta, 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 ta. Try it with me. Ta, 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 ta. Now let's try it with music. This one has a slow beat and stretched notes.
great conducting. Now let's watch the orchestra play music with a different feeling entirely. Light and a bit bouncy. Watch how Jeanette shows the orchestra how to play in a more playful and bouncy way with her baton and her face. Conduct along, please. <laughs> Orchestra sounds so beautiful when they play. I agree, Kieran. The orchestra has beautiful sound and expression. Let's listen to the Apollo's Fire Orchestra some more. It's time for you to get your paper and crayons we asked you to grab earlier. If you don't have any paper and crayons to color with, that's okay. You can keep listening along and imagine a picture in your mind. We will use our imaginations to draw pictures of whatever we are hearing. You can draw a picture of shapes, lines, squiggles, circles, whatever feels right to you. This music was composed by Vivaldi. That music gave me some big feelings. What did you draw and see in your imaginations? I drew three different colors and different patterns and shapes and I never noticed that it was like put a tent. It's like a triangle with a diagonal line coming off there so it's kind of like a tent with an open. And the music made me feel calm sad and happy at the same time. I'm running in my backyard. I came out of my house. And the music made me feel happy. Want to snap a photo of your artwork and send it to us so we can see it? Ask a parent or adult to help you email a photo of your artwork to the email address at the end of the episode. And now, Drum roll, please. For a piece that the court conductor would have prepared for a royal celebration. Ready, court conductors? Take it away, Jeanette and Apollo's fire. When the musicians played together and Jeanette conducted from the harpsichord, what did you think of all the musicians playing together? That's awesome! Let's review what we learned today. Well, we learned about Baroque music and who is in the orchestra Apollo's Fire. What else? And we learned about the conductor, Jeanette Sorel, and how she leads the orchestra from her harpsichord or with a conducting baton and with her hands. You even conducted along with Apollo's Fire Orchestra. You all did a great job staying with the beat 
and changing the tempo. Oh, also, we used our imaginations to draw pictures of how the music made us feel. Should we watch one more piece by the orchestra before we say goodbye? Yes! you had fun learning about Apollo's Fire Baroque Orchestra and conductor Jeanette Sorrell. I can't wait to learn more with you. I love music and I love learning. See you next time. Bye friends. Bye friends. Bye. Bye.